now that I've had all this stuff, I have gummy bears, I have way too much to drink, now I need to brush my teeth. So I'm going to make some toothpaste. <laughs> And for this toothpaste, I need some soap. Yep, I need soap for my toothpaste. Maybe a little bit more. Bubbles! But y'all's favorite part is bubbles. <laughs> it gets better. Here's my, here's my secret ingredient. What is it? This is peroxide, right? Some of y'all know there's peroxide in your toothpaste. Now I'm going to stripe my toothpaste, green stripes. Ooh, good color. <coughs> then my ivy and the sting right there. I would iron? I would iron. I had it sting right there. Case is missing out. No, uh, I had a eye sitting like right there. <laughs> yeah, I had it sitting there yesterday. I swear it was sitting right there yesterday. Okay, so here's my toothpaste. Is anything happening to this toothpaste? Does it look like toothpaste? Yeah. Nope. Nothing's happening to my toothpaste. What can I do to a reaction? Does anybody know? To make it go faster. Fire. Fire. Okay. Yeah. If I wanted to make my reaction go faster, what could I add to it? Any ideas? Heat. 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 Okay, that's a good one. Anything else? You guys are getting confused by me holding. Okay, anything else? Fuel, okay. Maybe it makes the reaction go faster than you think it is. Magic. Magic. A catalyst. Good. A catalyst. K-I. We're going to use a catalyst to make this toothpaste go. I had it right there yesterday. And this catalyst is going to make my reaction go faster. And it's going to make my toothpaste so I can finally brush my teeth. Now, when I make my toothpaste, it's actually a reaction that happens with the peroxide and the catalyst. And that reaction produces some oxygen. And so we're going to be able to use that oxygen to do what we call a wooden splint test. And then we're going to talk a little bit about uh, gases and the flammability of gases. But I've been telling you guys that oxygen um, is needed for a combustion, right? I've said that a few times right, already. But is oxygen by itself flammable? No. no. We're going to find out. Uh, we'll find out later. But. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Here goes my catalyst. I'm going to test for oxygen with uh, this wooden split. And it's called a wooden split test. It's rising. Is it the wrong? Yeah, it's kind of going kind of slow. It go, usually goes a lot faster. So many malfunctions. I know. That's the price you pay for live demos. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen, even though you've done it a million times. Amen. <laughs> Seriously. Well, you think I'm here, all right? You know what's going to happen? I'll tell you what, I promised my balloons will work. So if I could get any oxygen up to this place, here would be good. Alright, so wooden split test for oxygen. I'm going to blow the flame out, and if there's oxygen, it should relight my flame. And it does, if you guys can see it. If you guys could see it. <laughs> We're in a breezy room. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Here it goes. Here it goes. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
Yeah. 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 Magic. Yeah. Cool. Now, did it? Ex did this whole thing explode? No. What's it supposed to? No. <laughs> <laughs> Light. <laughs> because what's what fuel do I have in here? I don't. All I have is this wooden stick. Is a and so it's relighting my stick. You can see it glowing, but it's not glowing up. That would be cool. It would be cool, and I, we will get there. I promise. <laughs> the oxygen gas, and I'll show you further proof. If you still don't believe me, by itself, it's not flammable. You have to have all three things. You have to have your fuel, your heat, and your oxygen. So oxygen gas by itself is inflammable. 